Hey, remember this screensaver? Isn't it glorious? I had to run the game I'm discussing today on Windows 3.1 and felt compelled to stop and reflect on operating systems past. Oh, Windows screensaver, I love you. You hypnotize me so. Anyway, the game I'm reviewing today is How Things Work in Busy Town, a sequel to the DOS game Richard Scarry's Busy Town. The DOS game was released in 1993, and How Things Work followed in 1994. I noticed the Wikipedia states that these games are based on the television series, however, that came out in 1994, making it quite impossible for the 1993 DOS game to be based on. I think the more accurate assumption is that both games were based on the children's literature by Richard Scarry, which included talking animals and stories of overcoming obstacles in the cute little world of busy town. The music and voices are completely different than the show anyway, so that's my theory. I'm sure most of you remember the cartoon show. I know I do. And now it's time for a childhood memory with Pushing Up Roses. So I used to watch this show before school, and though I did not like it as much as Little Bear, Little Bear is the shit, I remember this pig character always wanting something called a cherry nut donut. I'd like to buy a cheering up donut and a raffle ticket, please. And for some reason, that sounded like the best thing in the world. So I'd ask my parents for cherry nut donuts, and they'd be like, the fuck is she talking about? So they'd give me these chocolate donuts they bought from Edmunds, and I'd be like, yay, a cherry nut donut! This has been a childhood memory with Pushing Up Roses. I played How Things Work for about five minutes on an elementary school computer before I deemed it too boring to continue. But recently I wanted to know why I found it so boring as a kid, and I longed for some nostalgia anyway, so I bought it on eBay and gave it a shot. And it turns out that Little Roses was right. This game is boring. Basically, you go around as Lowly Worm in your Apple Copter, not to be confused with a Raffle Copter, to different places to help characters do things, in which they will show you how it works. Hence the title, How Things Work. You're greeted with a song that lasts forever. Busy town, friendly faces all around. Well, at least the baker likes it. It looks like he's giving devil horns and rocking out. You have several places you can visit. The toy factory, the bakery, the garbage truck, the recycling factory, the farm, the mill, the assembly plant, road construction, and the news studio. The first place I went to is the farm, because why not? Hello, turnip goat. How's the farming coming along? Slowly, lowly. I need your help to grow lots of weed. Lots of weed? What? Now it's time to drive the harvester over the field to cut the weed. Oh, wheat. Right, of course. Anyway, you help the character grow wheat, and following where the stars are, you can help her through all the steps from planting seeds to watering them to harvesting. It's so fun. Yay. Since I went ahead and harvested all this wheat, I decided to go to the mill next, where Hilda Hippo is thrilled to teach us how grinding grains work, and thus can be used to bake pretzels. She loves pretzels. We'll send the flour right over to the baker. I just love his pretzels. The engine runs on water, and I run on pretzels. Nice white flour means nice crunchy pretzels for me. Are ladders and second stories not relevant on this screen? Because I can just run around anywhere without using the ladder. Weird. But convenient. Hmm. Once you're done at the mill, it's off to the bakery. By the way, you can do all of these things out of order, but I am an atrociously boring game player and I like to do things in order, unlike having any kind of order in my real life. Time to bake some bread. You get a recipe here, and once again you click on the stars to see how things work. You can bake several different items here, like pretzels. At last I got my pretzel! And bran muffins, and bread, and holy shit, that bread looks really good! What is that, a French baguette? I need me some of that stat. This game is insanely repetitive. All of the same gameplay mechanics, but at different locations, and the potential to learn different things about them. But honestly, most of these places are somewhat lackluster to me. Like the road construction, which took forever and wasn't very satisfying. Also, my pavement laying skills are subpar. I would say the bakery is probably the most appealing place on the busy town map. Everything else is pretty... Meh. Even the toy factory is boring, and I suspect most kids in the age group this game was intended for would choose the toy factory first, but all you do is create recycled toys by pushing buttons. Explain to me, game. Explain to me how this is an accurate depiction of toy making. We all know that toys are made by elves anyway. You aren't fooling anyone. I do like that the game features voice acting and cute little songs for each location, though. I was truly amazed when I heard video games with speech as a little girl, as I grew up on games with little to no sound. So a part of me still appreciates that about computer games from the mid-90s. So many things will improve once we all choose to recycle. 
Thank you, Satchmo. I was the most intrigued by the new studio because I thought maybe it was something that explains how editing or recording music and shows work, but nope. It's not really a new studio, it's just a place where you listen to the songs that are a part of the game's soundtrack and you have the opportunity to level and change the volume. Hmm. Let's listen to the bread song. Okay, now everyone sing along. Baking bread, baking bread. At Abel Baker Charlie's we are baking bread. After you're done visiting all the locations and are ready to quit, you're given a report on what your child has learned by playing this game. Wow, look at all these things I've allegedly learned. I don't remember learning any of these things during gameplay, but the game says I did, so it must be true. How things work in busy town, tricking parents everywhere into thinking it's teaching you stuff. Alright, maybe I'm being just a bit harsh here. This isn't targeted towards me, quite obviously, and I poke fun mostly in jest. Perhaps if I were a kid, I would like it more. Wait, I didn't like this game as a kid either, so I guess that argument is right out the window. Well, maybe other kids would appreciate it, but I found it pretty weak in terms of edutainment. It might be good for extremely young kids, I would say kindergarten age. Otherwise, I'm sticking to the Super Solver series for my edutainment fix. And that, my friends, is how things work in Busy Town in a nutshell. Or should I say, a cherry donut shell? Oh man, I still want one of those things. When I was a kid, I really thought those things were real and I would beg my parents to get me one and all they could come up with were these really weak chocolate covered donuts. And they were really generic, they were really not that good. I wanted the cartoon donuts, that is where it's at. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my review on how things work in Busy Town. I hope some of you found it nostalgic, and if not that, amusing at the very least. I have other edutainment reviews on my channel, and there's one on the screen if you want to see it. Or you could check out my social network sites, or even support me on Patreon if you're feeling sassy. Try not to get the baking bread song stuck in your head. Once it's there, it burrows deep in your brain and never comes out. Bye for now. Hour, I'm covered with flour, I need to take a shower.